Welcome. This recording is CC BYNC. So this is a special recording just for uh, building a unit circle from scratch. What we're going to start with is just recalling that in quadrant one, when an ordered pair, both X and Y are positive. In quadrant two, X is negative and Y is positive. In quadrant three, both X and Y are negative. And in quadrant four, X is positive, Y is negative. We will need that as we're looking at this. We will also need our special right triangles that we have here. I've written them in. Now I've written them in terms of degrees and in radians. Also, we should keep in mind an ordered pair. All of them that we're going to be doing uh, for the rest of this lesson, we should be thinking this as cosine theta is x and sine theta is y. Also want to recall that tangent theta is y over x. So keeping all of that in mind as we get going on this. This, what, like I said, is a unit circle. It is a circle that has a radius of exactly one. And you can see at each of the major points, we have that the ordered pair is one, zero, zero, one, up at 90 degrees, negative one, zero, uh, 180, and at 270, it's zero, negative one. Now, we're going to start with the angles. And we're going to convert them into radians first, because we really should start thinking in radians uh, more so than degrees. Um, zero degrees is going to be for us zero radians. And um, we could convert all of these angles using the pi over 180, but I'm going to show us a little bit more fun way of doing it. We know that all the way around is 360 degrees. We know that that's two pi radians. And I'm not going to work, write the word uh, radian anymore. Now, half of 2 pi, half of 360, is over at 180. What's half of 2 pi? That's just pi. And what's half of pi? That's pi over 2. And what's half of pi over 2? Half of 90 degrees is at 45 degrees. Half of pi over 2? is pi over four. Now, what we're gonna do is, I'm gonna do this in terms of pi's over four. So zero pi over four is at zero radians. One pi over four is at 45 degrees, pi over four radians. Two pi over four reduces to pi over two. Three pi over four is at 135 degrees. Now you'll notice the reference angle for three pi over four is still pi over four, still a 45 degree reference angle. That's three pi over four, four pi over four, four over four is one pi. So three, four, five pi over four is gonna be down here. Five pi over four. Six pi over four is down here. Six pi over four reduces to reduces to 3 pi over 2. That's 6 pi over 4. 7 pi over 4 gets me to 315 degrees. Not over 4. So there's our pi over 4s. Now to get the 30s and 60 degrees and all that kind of stuff, I'm going to do this. 90 degrees, if I divide 90, 90 degrees, by three, I get to 30 degrees. So pi over two divided by three is pi over six. And now we're gonna do everything in terms of pi over six. Zero pi over six is here. One pi over six is here. Two pi over six is here. Now two pi over six reduces to pi over three. Zero pi over six, one pi over six, two pi over six. Three pi over six reduces to pi over two. 4 pi over 6 reduces to 
2 pi over 3. That's 4 pi over 6. 5 pi over 6. 6 pi over 6 reduces to pi. 7 pi over 6. Seven pi over six. Eight pi over six reduces, reduces to uh, seven, eight pi over six reduces to four pi over three. That's eight pi over six. Nine pi over six reduces here to three pi over two. 10 pi over 6 reduces to 5 pi over 3. 10 pi over 6. 11 pi over 6 gets me here. So I often count them out that way when I'm doing a regular class. All right, so now I've left an extra blank next to all of these points as we're doing this. And the reason for that is um, we can also get the tangent out of it once we get the X and the Y. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that with what we have. So tangent, if you remember, is Y over X. Y over X is gonna be zero in this case. You'll notice here we have a problem. One divided by zero is undefined meaning the tangent of pi over two or 90 degrees is undefined. And actually, in actuality, that's where those asymptotes are. Over here at pi, radians are 180 degrees. It's going to be y over x, zero over negative one is zero. Down here at 270 degrees or uh, three pi over two, we have uh, y over x, negative one over zero, again, gives us undefined. And then we're back up here at 2 pi. So let's find these other points. So let's look at, I, in, keeping in mind, we're going to do quadrant one. So both x and y, or cosine and sine, as, as we're looking at them, are going to be positive for quadrant one. So when I'm here at 30 degrees, the cosine, which is x, cosine of 30 degrees is the adjacent root two over the hypotenuse, which is two. So root three over two. The sine is the opposite, one over the hypotenuse, two is one half. And tangent is y over x, that gives me one over root three. I could also look at the triangle. Tangent is the opposite over the adjacent, one over root three which we rationalize to root three over three. Next up, 45 degrees, using our triangle again. Cosine, which is the X coordinate, is the adjacent one over the hypotenuse over root two, which we know becomes root two over two. Sine of pi over four or 45 degrees is the opposite one over the hypotenuse root two. So that's one over root two, which again is root two over two. And it makes sense that X and Y are the same at 45 degrees, both X and Y are gonna be the same distance there. And we can see if I do Y over X or use the triangle one over one, we get that the tangent is one. Next up, up here at 60 degrees or pi over three radians. Cosine comes first. Cosine of 60 degrees is gonna be the one over the two. One half. The sine is gonna be the opposite. Root three uh, relative to 60 degrees. Root three over two. And tangent of 60 degrees is the opposite over the adjacent. Root three over one is just root three. 
Now, here's some of the cool things about the unit circle. All of the unit circles out of a reference angle of 30 degrees are going to have the exact same coordinates. All of them that have the reference angle of 30 degrees are going to have the exact same coordinates. So I'm going to utilize that. This is root 3 over 2 and 1 half. Now, here's the difference. The x coordinate is negative here. Here's another reference angle of pi over 6. Here, both x and y are negative, but it's going to be the same value. So negative root 3 over 2 and negative 1 half. Here's my other 30 degree reference angle. And here, x is positive, root 3 over 2, and y is negative, negative 1 half. Next up, let's do the 45 degree angles. They are going to be the same, except the signs are going to be a little different. X is negative in quadrant two. So negative root two over two, positive root two over two. Of course, down here, they're both root two over two, except now they're both negative. Root two over two, negative root two over two. And here, quadrant four, the X is positive, root two over two. And the y is negative, negative root 2 over 2. All of those with reference angles of pi over 4 or 45 degrees. Lastly, those with a reference angle of 60 degrees are going to be the same as well, except the signs. Negative 1 half, negative root 3 over 2. So half, negative root 3 over 2. That is how you build your unit circle. Be careful with the signs. That's always a, a place to uh, potentially run into some mistakes. I hope that helped.